Hi. Hey guys, uh, hello. Hey guys, so today we're gonna do a lipstick ombre, ombre lipstick, lipstick ombre trick today. And yes, I'm just gonna get started. So the only two brushes I'm gonna be using for this is a, they're from BH Cosmetics. One of them is a lip liner pencil, which is just a small, long, thin, brush and then the other one is like a spotting concealer brush it's super tiny I'm just gonna use this one to blend out the edges and stuff and then the lipsticks I'll be using is from Rimmel London Kate lipstick this is in 104 check it out is it focused I don't know and it's just a neutral pink and it looks like this. I'll just swatch all of the lipsticks first before I put it on my lips. And the next lipstick is by Wet n Wild. They're, they're Mega Last lipsticks. And this doesn't have a name, but it says C19D. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why it doesn't have the name on it. But I think this is Cherry Bomb. Cherry Bomb. And a swatch for this. Bam. So we're going to have an ombre of these two lipsticks. To prep my lips, I just put Vaseline all over my lips just to moisturize it, and I just wipe the excess off. Axis, excess. So the first thing we're gonna do is just pop on the lightest color on the center of our lips. You don't have to worry about putting on the outer, outer corners because we're gonna put the darkest shade there. So I'm just putting that on the center. And I'm looking down because my mirror is right here. Okay. Now with the darker shade, the Wet n Wild Cherry Bomb, I'm going to take the lip pencil. This is not the lip pencil. Take the lip pencil and just brush it on there. And we're going to use this lip brush to um, have more precision when we put it on the corners of our mouth. So we're just going to place that on the outer corners, try to fade it into the light. Here you go. Draw that line first, outer to the inner, and have it fade up just a little bit. Can you see what's going on? And just do that on the other side. So, bam! That's the bottom lip right there. For the upper corner to the top of my lip point. What's that? The cupid's bow. I'm just gonna join that to the cupid's bow, fading it as I go up. Oh my god. And just fill it in in the corner just a little bit. So, like that. Do it on the other side. up to the cupid's bow and fill in the corner just a little bit so you get something like this awkward this is awkward but yeah and then to blend it out we're just going to use that um the small concealer brush just to blend out those edges just tap and blend. Just blend around those edges. And it's coming along. What do I want to do? I'm going to take a little bit of that cherry bomb color and deepen up the corners. Make sure you bring it all the way in the in the corner of your lips. And more blending. Yeah. There's a look. 
good. I think it looks cool. And to make mom, mom, and to make the lips look fuller, you can add just um, a highlight and dab it in the middle. Today, I'm gonna use this baked highlighter, baked highlighter by Elf, and it just says blush gems. I don't, I don't remember if there's different shades of different shades of highlighters, but it just looks like this, you know. And I'm just gonna take my pinky, swirl it around, and just add that to the center. Only to the center. Keep adding. And blend it, just with your fingers. And does it look fuller? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. A little bit to the top. And I don't bring it like all the way down or all the way up, just say it, make it stay in the center of your lip. Pucker. And I guess I'm done? That was really simple, right? Um, so I guess you can play with any kind of different colors with this. You can use any other colors okay so basically it's just a center the center of the lip is always light and the outer corners are darker than what it is I don't I don't know that's that's how my video is ah. but that's it for this video take it to another level if you want use like yellows greens oranges any other colors because 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 any other colors? I've seen looks where you can do dark in the center and light on the edges. That's if you want your lips to look smaller. And I and I think that's like an Asian thing. Since like Asians, I, I just heard this from somewhere where um, Asians have fuller lips. So sometimes if they want to make their lips look smaller, they do an ombre, reverse ombre lip. Where the center is darker and the outer is lighter. Okay. If you do this look, um, if you follow on Instagram, just tag me. Nah, I'm not that famous. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking. I'm just gonna do some awkward close-ups and enjoy. <laughs>